I'm going to walk you through how to use ImageJ to crop an image of a gel to prepare it to put into your lab report and to make some modifications such as converting it to black and white, but also how to use ImageJ to take measurements of distance bands have traveled to calculate your RF values. So here I have an example protein gel stained with Kumasi blue and de-stained from a previous year as an example. So the first thing I'm going to do is to crop out these words in the white space around the gel. So first you want to pick the rectangle shape and then you draw a rectangle around your gel. And then you can go to image and crop and you'll notice there are some shortcuts here if you would like to learn those. And now I've cropped the image. Now I cropped the image to include all of the lanes, but if your gel has another group's um, samples on there as well, you can actually crop this down to just include the marker or ladder, which should be labeled M or L, and the protein samples from your group only. And you can crop out the other group's protein samples, but make sure you keep the ladder in your image. So the next thing I like to do is to subtract the background. So you'll notice that there's a little bit of faint blue in the background of this image that's from the Kumasi stain. And so you go to process, subtract background, and we have checked here light background because we have a lighter background than our bands. You can click preview if you'd like to see what that looks like before you say okay. And you can adjust the rolling ball radius as appropriate. All right, so now we've subtracted the background. And then you'll also be putting your images into a file for your lab report in which they'll be black and white. And so I also like to convert them ahead of time. So if you go to image, type an 8-bit, and it'll convert it to black and white for you. Okay, so now we have our gel that we'll use in our actual figure, in addition to composing a descriptive figure legend for our gel. But now we need to take some measurements to calculate the RF value. So if you remember, the RF value is the ratio of the distance the band on the gel of interest travels relative to the dye front. So because this is a ratio, the units that you measure in don't matter because they cancel in the calculation. And so in this case, we use image J and we're just going to be measuring in pixels and pixels will essentially cancel in the final calculation. So I like to choose the line segment and draw a line across the top of your gel where the migration has started. So once you put that line in there, you want to push control D and that will make a line. And the dye front is a little faint in this gel. You might be able to see it a little better in yours, but there's a dye front here. Control D. Now, if your gel has an uneven dye front, you'll have to take that into account when you measure the distance the dye front traveled. Okay, so let's start with the molecular weight markers here. And so if we want to know the RF value for each of these known bands. We'll place our marker in the center of the lane at the top. And first I'll measure down to the front of the first band and I'll hit control M and you'll notice this results panel pops up. So the measurement here we're interested in is the length column. And you want to be systematic about the lines you measure here. So this will be number one. You can also, after drawing your line, go to Analyze, Measure. And you'll notice that popped up again, so it measured that line again for me. So I'm going to delete that second measurement because we don't need that right now. Okay, so now I want to measure to the front of the second band. Control M. Next band, control M. Next band, control M. Control M. And one more. Control M. Okay, now we need the die front for that lane. So I'm going to go to where I've marked my die front. Control M. 
So in this case, I will calculate the ratio of each individual band over the die front distance here in pixels. So again, if you have an uneven die front, the distance the die traveled for each of your lanes will be different. So then you can just copy and paste this into Excel and do your calculations in Excel.